It has been quite a while since we've done a day of eating and today we're going to do raw carnivore and the reason I usually do raw as opposed to cooked is because sometimes when you consume a large amount of cooked food it kind of saps your energy as it takes a little more work to digest. So you know if you wake up early in the morning if you had a lot of stuff to do you just have a nice raw meal and despite it being meat fairly high in calories you still feel good you still feel energized. So that's gonna be the main focus of today. Minimal digestive stress, high energy, and since it is getting a little bit cooler outside, usually do have to eat cooked foods to stay warm. So it's not something realistic to do in the winter, especially in New York. And unlike my dad, we are not doing a carnivore day of eating. Oh, we! We are sticking to 100% uh, grass-fed stuff, local beef, we have in New York from Frankie's Free Range Meat. Maybe we'll do the carnivore day of eating next week. So let me show you guys my first meal. So this is what I brought up from downstairs. We have the Nature's Glucose, and I got a sirloin steak for later. And right now we're gonna have two New York strip steaks that we're gonna dice up into tartare for, I guess our breakfast, lunch. It's, it's pretty late in the day, but I just haven't had time to uh, eat yet. And this is the local beef you will get if you order the beef package on Frank East for your age meat. So you're gonna get an assortment of whole cuts and then some local ground beef. I would actually be having uh, the ground beef for this tartare, but I forgot to bring some over. And if you guys are wondering if I actually eat this nature's glucose stuff, I've already gone through like seven jars of this and these are only the ones I kept. So I've been using this as a carbohydrate source. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I originally said this was 95% glucose and we kind of guessed now uh, we actually sent it into a lab and it was 75% 80% which is still really good uh, so we lowered the price a little bit and if you guys already placed an order just reach out to me let me know uh, we'll sort something out and some of the whey protein we have so this has been my go-to mustard brand for the past I guess few years I like it in tartare, especially to increase the palatability. And it's from France, really simple ingredients, just mustard seeds, vinegar, water, sea salt. And it's one of the better tasting ones that I've tried. This is everything I'm gonna have for the first meal. We're gonna do the tartare with mustard and salt. I'm gonna make a little bit of a lemonade for some vitamin C with the nature's glucose as well. What I also like doing is because my family uses a traditional detergent in the dishwasher, I'll take a clean rag with some filtered water and I'll just quickly wipe down my surface, wipe down my knife to get the detergent residue off. I'll do the same thing with my plate and I also already did that with this blender cup. I rinsed it with clean filtered water. So these are two of the strip steaks from the local beef. Uh, we have some really nice looking ribeyes that I wouldn't normally cut up like this. And honestly, you know, I'm, I'm a little lazy today so I'm not gonna even do like a tartare. I'm just gonna cut up bite-sized chunks and throw some mustard on it. A lot of this connective tissue, you know, that's normally broken down when cooked is kind of wasted raw. So definitely wanna save these scraps for some type of stock you're making, or if you have a pet dog or cat, they would love this as well. You could even just throw this on the grill next time you have a cooked meal. So this is how I make this smoothie. I take an organic lemon. And you don't have to use lemons, they tend to be expensive, out of season. But, you know, this bag of lemons was like three or four dollars, so it wasn't too bad, especially for organic lemons. Most of the vitamin C in this is going to come from the, the acerola cherry, but adding this lemon certainly makes it tastier. All I do is I put the whole lemon in here, and I'll eyeball about a teaspoon of this powder, which is way more than enough. Usually you only need to do about a quarter or half of a teaspoon of this stuff to get the max daily dose of vitamin C. Put a pinch of salt in here and more salt on the meat itself. Again, wipe off the spoon. And we have our main energy component here, which is the nature's glucose. Now, normal honey is typically 35%, 40% sometimes. So even though this is 75%, it's still more than double the amount of glucose than what regular honey has. So you can consume a lot of it without having the problems normally related to fructose. I'll do three big tablespoons of this. 
And now that we've lowered the price on this, you could pretty much eat this as your only source of carbohydrates if you really wanted to. It's, it's not that much more expensive than something like really raw honey. And that stuff's good. Not nearly as sweet because fructose is much sweeter than glucose. But yeah, you could just eat this stuff with a spoon if you want to. Now this gets filtered water. And when we blend this up, it's going to get really foamy and filled up. So I'm going to leave this here. We'll go eat our meal and then I'll have that as a dessert. The only thing we missed is put a little mustard on our plate. You know, eating healthy isn't easy. Even a raw meal, you have a bunch of stuff to do, a bunch of stuff to clean. You know, it's funny, I didn't tell you guys, someone sent me flowers, a secret admirer. Uh, my family really likes the flowers, but kind of creep me out a little bit, but very nice. So as we've gone over many times in the past, protein, red meat, very high in B vitamins, good amount of zinc, good amount of iron, it's kind of lacking on copper and magnesium, so I will be taking a copper and magnesium as well as a vitamin K2 supplement. And I guess you could consider the Ace Roller Powder a vitamin C supplement. So those are the things I deem as lacking on a carnivore diet predominantly. Since I don't have the supplements available yet on organ supplements, which we should have hopefully this month. Uh, I'm not going to name specific brands, but you can definitely go to my Amazon shop amazon.com slash shop slash Frank Tefano uh, to see what I recommend. So just a nice piece of raw meat. Really taste the farm in this local beef. But I like a little bit of mustard. Of course you could eat this raw without the salt and the mustard. For more natural palatability but you know since i'm lifting weights and trying to gain weight i kind of want to eat as much as possible comfortably you know what i find funny is if you think about foods you really like when eating something like this you can eat more of it and i was thinking about bacon egg and cheese recipe i'm going to do saturday or like if you're ever watching tv and they're eating pizza while you're eating steak for some reason, it tastes better. Try it out. I'm kind of full, but I have a few more bites, so. And that's it, I put way too much mustard on my plate. Maybe you only need like half a teaspoon. It's really potent, so. Back to our lemon acerola glucose concoction. I, I forgot, usually in this, if you put like a whole lemon, you gotta strain it out, so. Definitely do some lemon juice if you want this to be a little bit easier. <laughs> So just splits it up again real quick. And here I have a strainer and a bowl that I rinsed out already. I'm just gonna pour this into it. And that's gonna kinda filter out all the lemon particles and make this nice and smooth. Now if you did this with three or four lemons or like a fruit, you might have to take a spoon and like push this through, but since it's not a lot of fibrous stuff, we don't have to do that. And this will be our main source of caloric energy for the beginning of the day. That's a little too much glucose. A little too much everything. You definitely need the vitamin C or the lemon juice in this. Kind of counters the uh, the insulin load a little bit. It's tough because you know if you do like six or seven tablespoons like I did, you're getting in a decent amount of calories, like you know four or five hundred. If you go less, one or two, it's not really enough for one meal. Uh, so I'm gonna go do uh, some more work. Maybe I will lay down and rest a little bit because I did you know wake up so early, and then. What we'll do for our second meal is maybe we'll just sear the outside of that steak so the inside's still raw. And I'll show you guys like the little like pudding I make with this so that you can reduce the amount of water you're drinking to digest better. Ideally, you wouldn't drink like a giant glucose shake with your meal from like a, a gut dysbiosis and gut health perspective. It's not a smart idea, but 
as long as you're active, as long as you move around for an hour or two, you should be fine. Oh, I almost forgot. You gotta take the copper and the magnesium and the vitamin K2. And those supplements are just to balance this meal. In general, for the diet, you do have to take a couple of other vitamins and minerals uh, less frequently, maybe a couple times a month. We're back, guys. It's about 10 p.m. at night, and although I tried to lay down for a few hours, I didn't expect to fall asleep. One thing that vitamin C does is greatly enhance iron absorption. So keep in mind, if you get like a little headache or you feel like a little energized when you take vitamin C, especially with red meat, that's likely what's happening. And one thing I forgot to mention with the nature's glucose, the reason I'm consuming so much of it is because glucose is very good for your liver. Even though fructose needs to be processed by the liver, when you give your liver pure glucose, it almost helps it detoxify and remove any sort of negative things from it. So I do feel a lot better when I consume the glucose in that high percentage form. I don't really feel as good when I do fruit or you know regular starch, but what you could do is you could add the nature's glucose to your regular meal if you're omnivorous, and then you'll have the higher glucose percentage that you should feel better consuming. So I have my uh, grill fired up outside. We're just waiting for the wood to catch up. We're gonna take uh, our sirloin steak and just get a little bit of flavor on each side and Oh, is this 100% raw? No, it's, it's probably 97% raw because only the outside of the meat is seared and you get a lot more flavor and increases the palatability and fairly importantly, it removes any sort of bacteria concern on the outside of the meat. Now, since this is local grass-fed beef that we had processed ourselves, I'm not worried about the bacteria aspect, but you know, if you're buying meat from the supermarket or you're buying meat from you know, a regular source, then you probably do want to sear it on the outside. So this is a sirloin steak. Again, it's from the local beef box we have on Frankie's Syringe Meat. I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt on both sides. All right, so my setup is pretty messy, but I guess the job done. I got some cherry wood over the burners. What I don't have is uh, beef tallow from Frankie Syringe Meat to, to flare up the flame. Uh, usually my steaks are fatty enough that I don't have to do that, but in this case what you want to do is take some fat, rub it on the outside so you can really get that fire to, to give it a nice brown crust. Otherwise, this is going to take a little while. Okay, wipe off the bowl, wipe off the spoon, and we'll do... Same thing, like three tablespoons of this. And this is really great for like preparing for a fast because it's a really pure, like lowly inflammatory food to have in your digestive system for the couple days that you're not eating. Got the glucose there, a little pinch of salt. This is a vanilla bean powder. You don't have to do this, but I guess this will make it a little dessert like. And then we have our lemon juice. One whole lemon is probably a little too much, but I just don't want to waste it. And I just mix this up. This is kind of like the pre-workout carbohydrate source with this meal. Let's go outside and flip that steak. So that meal earlier actually consumed more than I usually do, especially for, you know, raw tartare, but We'll see how much of this I get through. This is two pounds of steak. I don't even think I'm gonna get through half of this. So I did actually have those vitamins and minerals again before this meal. The copper, the magnesium, and the vitamin K2. And we're gonna have some vitamin C again in the glucose. And not only do those minerals kind of counter what's missing in meat, they're also very important for you know the regulation of iron in your liver. So you can get some you know pretty noticeable reactions when you combine them all in one meal. Oh, I didn't show you guys, but the inside of the meat is completely raw. Little bit of sear on the outside, but that's it. All right, so I think I ate about eight ounces, three quarters of a pound. I could go a bit more, but I don't really care. Uh, 
you know, I'm trying to get somewhat healthy even though I'm still overeating a little bit for this bodybuilding stuff. I've done this a couple times before. Usually though, I'll just take tablespoons out of the jar or make that lemonade we did earlier. Now the amount of vitamin C in this is probably not an issue with the red meat, but if you do the Ace Rolla cherry powder, that's, you know, probably 15, 20 times the amount of vitamin C, maybe even more that's in lemon juice. So be careful with the Ace Rolla powder and the steak. Okay, that's really tasty, but the glucose on its own is not really that sweet. But when you add salt and lemon juice and vanilla to it, it really brings out the flavor, so it's almost a little too sweet. So I think I'll have like two or three tablespoons of this. I'm not going to have the whole thing. This basically takes the stress off your body to produce any glucose throughout the day. You know, you have two or three tablespoons in the morning, another tablespoon or two throughout the day. It saves your body a lot of enzymes. So this day of eating is about as minimally inflammatory as I think I can make a day of eating. It's lean meat, so you don't have like digestive stress from high fat meals. The energy source is pure glucose. You cannot get an easier digesting source of glucose than this. And there's really nothing more you could do to remove any inflammation from a diet. Now that's not to say that you won't feel better doing certain things like adding fruit or certain starches or fattier pieces of meat. So you could definitely try that out. But if you guys haven't done something like this, if you've been carnivore for you know the past two, three years and you're not feeling so hot, I would definitely jump on the vitamin C train. And if you do want to try a carbohydrate source, pure honey might be a little bit too high in fructose. Same with a lot of fruits. So I would lean towards starch like white potatoes, white rice, uh, even like wheat, grains, pasta before jumping to the higher fructose stuff. Or you can try this. We've had really good feedback from the Nature's Glucose. And if you guys have had it, definitely let me know down in the comments below how it's going. So thank you guys for joining me today. I really think this might be the last carnivore day of eating because even if I did a cooked carnivore day of eating, it would basically be the same thing except the meat would be cooked a little bit. I would still be having the glucose, the vitamins, all that type of stuff. And if you guys have any questions about you know what to add additionally to your diet, I've done videos on minerals, basics of health, a bunch of different things over the past few weeks you can check out. Don't forget to like the video. Leave me a comment down below, and of course, subscribe if you haven't. If you guys do want to support me further, you can check out everything I've mentioned on frank .com. We have the local beef package on Frankie's Free Range Meat and the Honey Glucose on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.